I love sunbathing. The warm sunlight always makes me feel at home. Hmm. Tall, colorful stained glass windows stand graciously, casting an ephemeral light show all over the wall. This is my trump room. It's made especially for my favorite card games. You want to play with me? Oh, I... Eh... Uh, no? Not so sure I want to play right now. Well, I am. And if I say I want to play, then we are going to play. Don't take a seat. Do you need me to explain the rules? Yes. All you need to do is flip the cards. It doesn't matter what you get. You will win as long as you flip them all. I'm sorry, Mr. Pumpkin, but I'm not sure about what you're trying to say. What do you mean? Just flip them all over and be quick about it. You have to catch them all. Oh, alright. Good luck, miss. I'm sure you'll win if you follow my advice. Where do you think you're going? I haven't won yet. I shouldn't upset Fleta. Hmm. Take a seat. Let's start. I go first. Wow. First try. I won. I won. Wait, isn't that great for you? You weren't even that good. I was just distracted. I just let you win because I was feeling sorry for you. Isn't that right, Egliette? I'm better at card games than Miss Smarty Pants here, aren't I? I thought so. What are you looking at me like that for? Come on, let's do something else. Follow me. Yes, Fleta. That was a pretty good match. I was rooting for the both of you. Hey, do you want to see my poker face? Sure, let's see it. Ready? Here I go. So, did you like it? Yes, Pumpkin, that's a nice expression you have there. I'll be sure to win every bet in the kingdom. This is where I usually drink my tea with Egliette. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> Why, thank you, miss. Isn't it a nice day today, Miss Pumpkin? Yes, it is, Mr. Pumpkin. Hey, miss, can I ask you a question? What is it, Mr. Pumpkin? I heard you're going to lose to Flutter in every game you play. Is that true? Oh, Pumpkin, I'm flattered. I would do anything to receive Princess Flutter's good graces. A colorful array of sweets are laid out on the table. Are you hungry? Let's take a seat and drink some tea. <laughs> yes, let's. Just don't eat any of my favorites. Actually, try not to eat anything at all. Just drink the tea or something. What do you mean? Chubby girls always get married last, isn't that right, Egliette? <laughs> Come, let's sit. Letta, can I ask you a question? 
course, what is it? Why are you always so mean to me? Have I done anything to upset you? Hmm, no, not really. Why do you ask? I don't know, you're always in a bad mood, so I just thought... You're not very good at thinking, are you? Look, Egliet, I made her upset. She totally does. Lada. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy talking to Egliet? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, but you did. Didn't she, Egliet? I'm so sorry, Flutter. I, I don't know what I did, but I never meant to upset you. Hmm. And how about you prove it to me? How? Show me that thing you always carry around with you. A pocket mirror? Uh-huh, show it to me and I'll forgive you. I... Show it. Man, but you have to be really careful. It's really important to me. Why is it so important? I bet it's not even gold. It's not like it's that valuable. Shut up, Egliet. I am being careful, can't you see? So, why is this toy so important to you? It's not a toy. It's not? Is it actually made of gold? I, I don't know what it's made of. Then what? How can you not know what it's made of? I, I just don't know, Fleta. And why do you even carry it around everywhere? I'm not sure, it's just a really important thing to me. I feel like I always have to keep it close to me. Maybe a little bit like you and Egliette. You're always together, right? Don't you dare compare my Egliette to a toy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh. Hey, are you listening to me? Don't just look at me like that, are you stupid? Don't you dare compare Egliette to your stupid pocket mirror. You understand, or I will have to hit you and make you understand. Ooh, an ice turned red. But Egliette, she was being mean. You know I never do that. Now shut up or you won't be getting dinner. Fine, but it's not because I feel sorry or anything. Hey, Fleta, I'm terribly sorry for what I just said. Please don't think badly of me, as I'm just a little girl. I just want to be your friend, so please accept my apologies. That's enough, Egliette. Humph. I'm sorry too, Fleta. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I accept your apologies. Can we be friends again? Hmm, fine. You still want to play with me? Hmm. Alright. Let's go. There are still a bunch of things I want to show you. I can't wait. Let's go do something else. Same thing. Can I go down again? Oh, I can. This is actually my most special room. Really? Uh-huh, it's a magic room. It'll turn into anything you desire, all you have to do is ask. I see, that's amazing. Let me show you. What color do you like best? I really like red. But I don't really like red. Never mind that. Just choose between pink and blue. Which do you like best? I like blue. Oomph. But I like pink better, so we're going with pink. All right, now watch and learn. Good day. What would you like to see today, princess? I'd like to see a pink room. Very well, you may step inside. Let's go. All right. These are my three special mirrors. Special? Uh-huh. There's the mirror of prayer, then there's the mirror of truth, and then there's the mirror of judgment. What do they do? 
Just come with me, I'll show you. This is the mirror of judgment. It judges whoever stands in front of it. That sounds scary. It's not scary, it's fun. Watch, I'll do it first since you're such a scaredy cat. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who's the fairest of them all. Certainly not you, princess. What? How am I not the fairest of them all? You told me I was just yesterday. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? We'll see about that. Come on, it's your turn to be judged. Oh no, I'm fine, Flutter. This is an order. Go and get judged by the mirror right this instant. Mirror, I would like to ask you who's the fairest of them all. There is only one who can hold that title, miss, and that one person is you. I know, Egliette. Me, but I... That's enough. Ooh. Got what it deserved. Let's just go on to the next one. Alright. This is a mirror of truth. It will answer all of your questions with nothing but the truth. Ah, I see. I go first. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, tell me who's the pinkest of them all. That is you, princess. Aha, I knew it! It could have only been you, Fleta. Right? Now you go, it's your turn. What should I ask? I don't know, it's your turn, not mine. Hmm. Ooh. Well, this one? What is my name? That is something only you can find out. I see. Oh well, that's how it is. Let's go on to the next one. This is the mirror of prayer. It can make any wish come true. Really? Any wish? Uh-huh, just watch. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Please make my mouth taste like candy forever. Farewell, princess, your wish is my command. It worked! I can always taste my favorite candy. Can I really ask for anything? Of course, my mirrors can do anything. Then I want a pocket mirror. What? What would you want something like that for? I already have one. Your wish is my command. Invitation pocket mirror. Thank you, mirror. I don't get it. Why did you wish for another pocket mirror? I got it for you, Fleta. Here, you can take it. What? You looked like you really wanted one, so I got you this. Why would I want something stupid like that? Just get rid of it or something, will you? I don't want you littering my home. But I... Let's go. Follow me. May you ever lose yourself in the princess's madness and I shall aid you in your sadness. Thank you, but I just wonder why she doesn't like me. It may take time as a princess isn't very honest, but only you can put her to rest. What do you mean? Mirror? A tall golden framed mirror hangs off the wall devoid of reflections. Eh. Look at charm. Okay. Took you long enough. Don't ever make me wait like this again. Sorry. Same things. This is my big library. It's where I keep all of my favorite tales. So that there is not a single boring book in this whole room. That's impressive, Fleta. I don't feel like reading right now. I'll give you ten minutes to check some books if you want to. Thank you, Fleta. The complete biography of Queen Egliette by Princess Fleta. How to be a perfect princess by Princess Fleta. Ah, I see. Fancy and elegant white porcelain vase decorated with various roses. 
Really dresses and pretty countesses by Sir Pumpkin the Third. Okay, that's somebody else at least. How to Dance the Waltz by Mr. Rabbit. A Boy's Midnight Journey by Henry Dyhirlidge. Don't read it. There was once a little missy who was well known for being quite prissy. All of her faithful butlers enjoyed serving her tea, obediently answering her every plea. Ruthless and powerful, the girl's last breaths were everything but colorful. Got what she deserved, and bitted an asonite was her last dessert. Bestowed with such a cruel demise, said the missy, it is now God's duty to strip me of my disguise. Having disposed of their queen, who had taken their voice, overwhelmed with freedom, and did her servants rejoice. It's hard to believe Fleda would like this kind of story. Okay. A thousand and one riddles for curious minds by Lord Pumpkin Squash. Book about the boy disappeared. Oh. Shoot. Well, I can't find the book I'm looking for. Do you have an idea where it might be? What book are you talking about? It was a book about a boy who could talk to the dead. What? There's no way I could ever have such a horrible book in my library. I found it just a while ago. Would you please stop telling lies, miss? It's not pleasant. It's true, I'm not lying. Yes, you are. Are you finished yet? If I can't find the book... Let's go upstairs. I don't want to stay here any longer. Go down to save the space. This is my favorite room in the whole house. I come here every night just to look at the stars and talk with Egliette. This room is beautiful, Fleta. Isn't it? Come, let's sit down and look at the stars. Yes! This sofa is so comfortable I could fall asleep here. I sleep here all the time. Sometimes I forget to bring a blanket when I take naps, so Ugliette gets one for me. Ugliette really does like you. Of course, and I love her just as much as she loves me. Don't you, Ugliette? See? I wish I had a friend like her. Oh, but you do. You have me and Ugliette. Isn't that enough for you? Oh no, that's not what I meant. Somehow I just feel lonely. I feel like I have been alone for a long time now, and I don't know why. I'm sorry I didn't mean to bother you, Fleta. Hmm. Well, I can assure you, you're not alone. You've never been alone, and you'll never have to be. Egliette and I have always been here for you, and will always be, right? Yes, you're right. Thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Egliette, too. Oh, thank you, Egliette. Good. Actually, I have always wanted to ask you something. If you have, what is it? In which floor of my dollhouse would you like to live? What? What do you mean? Well, since you're going to live here with me from now on, we need to know where you'll be staying, right? <laughs> or maybe we can make a whole new floor just for you. What do you think, miss? Fleta, I don't know if I want to stay here. 
What then, do you want to live on the second floor? That would be fine too. No, I mean, I can't stay in your dollhouse with you. I have to go. Oh, where? I, I don't know exactly where, but I have to know who I am. <laughs> I know who you are? Lada, I can't stay here with you. What do you mean you can't stay here with us? I'm not going to let you go anywhere. Lada? You already found me. What else do you need? No green eyes? Or are you really going to leave me all alone again? What do you mean? The place is here with me, do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Now that's settled, let's decide where you will be staying. What do you think, Egliet? I don't need you telling me that. Oh, Miss Luck, a shooting star. <laughs> Quick, let's make a wish. Oh no, I didn't have the time to make all the wishes I wanted. What did you wish for, Miss? Oh, I... It's a secret. Aw, oh, come on, don't be stingy. Just tell me. You're not supposed to tell. Hmm. Hmm, fine, don't tell me if you don't want to. I'm getting tired of being here, let's go play. What a I... You're not going anywhere, miss. I've told you before. You're my friend. You belong to me and no one else. If you ever try to leave, you know what will become of you, don't you? So let's go play. Answer me! Yes. Good, let's go. Let's go play. Hmm. Looks like there's two branching paths up there. Let's try this one first. Ah. Here we are. This is my playground. It's where I keep all my toys. You have so many. Obviously, I'm a princess after all. Let's go play. Come on. Ragdoll lies on the floor with a gentle smile on her lips. The miniature train set rests on the ground. The various carriages have been carefully polished. A trunk filled with a wide array of toys and dolls. Numerous teddy bears sit atop the long shelf. Worn out drumsticks rust beside a small red snare. Imposing nutcracker soldiers stand by the bottom of the stairs, their eyeballs roll insanely inside their sockets. Lada, he's looking at us. Oh, don't worry, they're just guarding my toys. I see. Hmm. This is my rocking horse. A wooden sculpted dollhouse frames a big ticking cuckoo clock. Nightly veil covers the windows, allowing the moonlight to seep through. Okay, so you want to go... it wants to go just up top there. More study bears, that's the same as the other side, I think. An old deteriorated gramophone rests in the corner. Hey, 
There they are, aren't they cute? You have so many. Uh-huh. Let's play. Oh, but I don't know the rules. That's right, Egglate will explain you the rules. Um... What does that matter? She can just play it anyway. I can't hear what Egglate says. Ugh, fine. I have to explain them to you myself since you're so dumb. All you have to do is catch the butterflies. The one who catches the most butterflies wins. I see, it sounds fun. I'll go with the cage from the right. You go to the other cage, we can start. Are you ready? I'll go first. I got eight. Good job, Pleta. Good job, is that all you have to say? How many can you catch anyway? You don't even stand a chance. I don't even know why I'm still playing with you. Well, but she doesn't need to know that, does she? Pleta. What do you want? Hurry up, it's your turn now. Got more than one. You win. I won. You're a cheater, that's what you are. But I'm a princess, I shouldn't let something like this bring me down. You will just pretend like you won. I'll let this one slide just for you, miss. But I did win. Sure you did. If you want to prove to me you're not a lying cheater, then you have to win in the hide-and-seek fair and square. I... I thought we were friends. And we are friends. I just don't like you very much. Oh, shush, Agliette. That has nothing to do with this. Anyway, let's play. Answer me. Yes. I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Troll four eighteen sixty two. Dear diary, today my friend Clara that worked in the kitchen disappeared and no one will tell me where she is. I wonder if she's still playing hide and seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad because I wanted to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. 13 4 1862. Dear Diary, I wish I had a twin sister instead. That way we could play together every day. Today was really sunny, so I tried to play with Mother, but she spends too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because Father is away. 23 4 1862. Dear Diary, I wish we didn't live away from town. I never have any girls to play with, and Brother spends too much time writing on his own. Well, let me read what he writes, either. Maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope Father brings me that very pretty doll he said he would buy on this trip. I think I will call her Claire, just like my friend. 24 4 Dear Diary, today my tutor fell ill during class. He had what Brother said was a heart attack. I wonder if he will be alright, because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended early so I could go play in the garden, but it started raining so I had to stay inside. 
It was really boring, so I decided to go into Mother's room because she isn't there anymore. I don't like Mother. 254-1862. Father brought me a very beautiful doll. Her name is Egg Liette, and we have been friends for a very long time now. She likes the same tea and sweets as me. I will never let my brother touch her. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Egg Liette doesn't like boys either because you're, they're brutes. It's so obvious father is a boy because he is going to the war again. I don't understand him. 28-4-1862. Being with Egliette is really fun. I never feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me very pretty stories, too. My favorite story is about the time when Egliette had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. She said they were very good dancers and were very elegant. The fox even had a red dress. Egliette said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow, too. I can't wait. I love Egliette. 29-4-1862. Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining and the story Egliette told me was very stupid. It was about some witches that went to a forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring. I bet they tasted like dirt. I think they played with magic, but I don't care because I didn't like the story. It was so stupid I hated it. 35-1862. My favorite color is pink. Egliette likes pink very much, too. When my eyes turn pink, I will play dress-up with Egliette, and we will only wear pink dresses. I will have to cut my hair because it's too long, and I like it shorter. Hm. Whose diary is this? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Some guys are silent, huh? Okay. Uh-huh. 